Hi, my name is Frank Fortney, and at Flow Camp 2013 this year, I taught a class Intro to Diabolo. Now, if you were there, you remember my conversation that it's called Diabolo, not Diablo, and that's because it's an Italian word for two bowls, not the Spanish word for devil. Alright, the first thing we went into was getting started. How we did that was we put the Diabolo on the ground on our right side, we rolled it across the ground to our left side, picking it up, and then we began tapping with our right hand. This is the easiest way to ensure that it's going to face the direction that you want to start. After we picked up speed a little bit, I taught you that sometimes the Diabolo leans in directions like this. It's leaning forward, and we correct that by moving the right stick closer to us. And if it moves, if it's starting to lean towards us, we correct that by moving the right stick away from us. Now, the Diabolo is starting to face away from the camera here, so I taught you the way to correct the direction there was to just tap on the back cup to turn it to your right. Now, I also taught you that if it's pointing the other direction, you can tap on this front cup to turn it to the left. Now, let's see. Uh, that goes over the balance, the direction changes, and a few string manipulations we went over. One was the trapeze, and one was the elevator. The elevator, the trapeze can be done by just popping it up over and keeping it looped around and then balancing it on the rest of the cord that's on the other side of the loop. The trapeze, or I'm sorry, the elevator can be done by crossing the right string across the diabolo and then pulling it straight down. Now you have, when you do this, you can't do it slow like I just did. You have to have, you have to put a good amount of tension on it and give it a little bit of an upward pop to make it travel up the Diabolo string, like this. Oh, not like that. All right, anyways. So, my, my string's a little wet, so it's not really working out the way it's supposed to. Uh, the elevator back down was a very similar move. You are crossing the right string over top while you're doing a throw up and over. So it basically does a single loop around there and then you unloop it at the bottom as soon as the Diabolo makes it to the bottom of the string right there. Okay? And last we talked about just a basic throw, which is executed by extending your arms out to the sides and creating tension on the rope. And you want to keep that tension on the rope while you attempt to catch it. If you try to catch it with the rope loose, it usually just loses balance and falls off. And we didn't actually teach any of these things, but some of the things that I threw at you at the end just for ideas to work on were the under the leg throw. and the over the arm throw. And that was the class. Hope you had a great time.